What's up guys, West Coast Bricks here. Today we're going to review all 12 LEGO Muppet CMFs. And thanks to LEGO and my local Target, we did get all 12 of these CMFs early. I was super excited when they first announced the Muppet line, and now that I have all 12 of them, they look amazing. So let's jump right into the review of the 2022 LEGO Muppet CMFs. First up, we have Kermit the Frog. And with all these figs, all the heads have unique head molds. So I'm going to try not to say that over and over again, but yes, all the heads look excellent on these figs. So with Kermit, he doesn't have the most printing or unique detail, but it's a classic simplistic design. He has his banjo as well as his rainbow tile piece to go with him. So up next, we have Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy has some awesome detail printing on her torso and legs, and she also has foot printing. She also includes dual molded arms as well. And then she's also holding her Miss Piggy magazine. Up next, we have the animal. The animal has incredible printing both on the chest and arms with the flames coming out. He's holding his drumsticks. He also includes dual molded legs, which we'll see a lot of in this series. But let's take a look at his drum kit. He has a unique um, printed tile piece right there on the kicker. Also has his little tambourine and also another drum up top. So up next we have Fozzie Bear. And what's really cool about Fozzie Bear is on his head there's texture on his ears and cheeks to represent the fur. Which I thought was pretty cool. And then on the chest he has his little bandana tie. And then also all over his body are the little fur marks to represent the texture as well. Next, we have the Gonzo minifig. One thing I'll say about this head on Gonzo is I love how it's dual molded between the purple on the beak and the blue for the rest of the head. Um, going into the minifig, I love the chili peppers all over his shirt and his little tie. And then he has sparkly little legs and has some footprinting as well. The accessory with Gonzo is the chicken. Overall, this is a great fig. Next up, we have Ralph the dog. So let's dive in into the head mold. The head mold is the star for this minifig. It looks very good. The printing is well done. The texture on the ears is just right. The only thing that sets this minifig back is the printing on the torso and legs. Although it does have arm printing as well, it's just very simplistic and plain, which it doesn't really need a lot of printing, but it's compared to all the other figs, it's down there in the scale. Ralph also comes with the music note card with the statue in the hairpiece as well. So overall, this minifig is pretty good. Next up, we have Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. And this is one of my favorite figs of the collection. The head is super unique. You don't get that green card. Next up, we have the Swedish Chef. This might be the best minifig in the whole collection. From top to bottom, this whole minifig is S tier. The mold perfect the arm printing is really nice the printing in the torso with the bow tie and you can see the lines in between the sh chef's apron is top tier the chef also comes with dual molded legs as well with foot printing his accessories are his tomato with a face print along with the whisk as well this is probably the best fake in the whole collection the next muppet we have is janice I love the printing on her head with the makeup and her lips as well. She has really nice molding on her hair. The printing on her torso is top tier. And she also comes with dual molded legs. The accessory that Janice comes with is the electric guitar. So that's nice to have. Overall, this is a good all-around fig. Next up, we have Waldorf. His head mold is top tier. His mustache is excellent. I love the details on his eyes because he's always sleepy. And speaking of sleepy, he is holding the ZZZ cardboard along with a cup of coffee or tea, it looks like. And then he has really nice printing on the torso. You can see the details on his jacket. And he also comes with the new mid short legs, the posable legs. And with those legs come with foot printing as well. So overall, it's a pretty good fig. Next up, we have Statler. His head mold is really nice. A really good detail on his hair, his eyes, and also his chin. 
The torso printing is well done, displaying the blue jacket he wears. No dual molded legs on him, but he does have foot printing. And his accessory he comes with is the laptop. Next up we have the beaker. From the top to the bottom, this fig is perfect. I love the new head style that we have, especially made for the beaker. The printing on the torso is excellent with all the shirts and the pockets. He also has dual molded legs as well, along with foot printing and also side leg printing along with all the other figs in the collection. His accessory is his radio with his little meter. Overall, this fig is nice. So that is all 12 Lego Muppet CMFs. Be sure to tell me your favorite down in the comment section below. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.